salutations everyone welcome back welcome back to another video i think this is i don't know the fourth or fifth video i filmed today i felt inspired so what am i talking about today is this weird this is kind of a this is i wish the ips which is intellectual properties companies brands would collab with instead of Disney princesses um or Disney but the items I did choose are one is non Disney two are Disney so we're gonna <laughs> I know I know you're just like really that's just okay and what and another one is not Disney so it's technically four okay so it's gonna be four so we're gonna do four we're gonna let's try to maybe make this like a series and maybe will some of this into existence in a good way i know one has been um done by a brand and we will talk about it and i even have i don't know if i can get to it but we'll talk to it so let's get into four ips intellectual properties that i wish companies and brands would collaborate with uh even not just makeup but it could be obviously makeup um more t-shirts more keychains more things i mean which are available but i want like sometimes like high quality good shiz you know what i mean so let's get into it right the second straight off the back darkwing duck let's get dangerous darkwing duck I'm gonna stop saying no. I really wish they launched the rest of the. Oh, I got some schmutz on the back of my DVD. It's fine. I got a little schmutz on it. It survived uh, my apartment flooded some years ago in my old apartment. I live in the basement, so it's a little wet and it's got some schmutz on it. But it's still good, okay? It's still good. Uh, just the outer packaging, but everything else is good. I wish the. <sighs> Look, Color Plop. Hear me out. Darkwing Duck. Tip Dot, hear me out. Darkwing Duck. No glitters, please. No glitters. The, look at the purple. Okay, look. At the, he is. I am. Villains beware of my mind. Darkwing Duck is. Adorable. Okay? He's up here finding crime in St. Canard City. Okay? So, uh, this was the. The dark one, it's a wonderful leaf. It's the Christmas, but I'm just saying. It's like hella cute, okay? How could you? there is a color palette? Look, it's look at the colors. There's just you could totally have a beautiful makeup collab with Darkwing Duck, and I think for those. Um, those of us kids that millennials uh gen y i'm gonna call it gen y because we're between x and z why are we called millennials that is the dumbest thing i've ever heard i hate that term i do i do or gen y and we ask a lot of questions too <laughs> why lord why us why is everything so hard and expansive why a lot of why why a lot of whys but this would be a phenomenal ip Okay, to, to license. Also, could they release the rest of the series? That'd be phenomenal. Thank you. Like, I just have volume one, volume two. What? And there's a couple of episodes that were deemed uh, scary. Like one where um, he went to heck. H.E. Devon, he's the heck. Bad place heck. Bad place heck. Yeah. There was a great episode, honestly. I remember it because I remember just watching it one random saturday morning or something cartoons in the 90s were different um they're a little bit more envelope pushing let's not talk about Rocco's modern life <laughs> that one was a little weird uh or you idiots ran and stimpy it was wild wild west out there but ip collab dark green duck like 
The purple for his cape and his little outfit. The black and gray for the hat. The orangey yellow for his duck bill. Um, his daughter Goslin. You could even do a little neutral for launch pad. McDuck. You know? Like, <sighs> McQuack. Excuse me, launch pad McQuack. And his daughter Goslin. She had orange hair and she always had on like a cute little purple pink top or a green purple top yellows oranges mallard ducks um the feathers like there are just so many options and the color palette of his city and some of like gizmo duck and even some of his um villains his uh rogues gallery you know what i mean the that could be literally three palettes in itself it could be darkwing duck in one palette launch uh launch pad in one and then the rogues like kind of a sampling of the rogues gallery in a third palette or just give me some darkwing duck t-shirts okay make them uh tall and big girl friendly i'm six foot four and i am i am fluffy okay i got slutty i got cinnamon rolls my rolls have rolls um hello <laughs> It's hot. Like, this is a big, nice, comfy t-shirt. It's fine. It's comfy. It's nice. It's clean. I smell good. Um, but yes. Anywho, it's give me t-shirts. Give me pajama pants. Darkwing Duck. Peas and thank you. Peas and carrots. As somebody used to tell me. Peas and carrots. I'm like, you hungry? They're like, no. Peas and carrots. I'm like, oh, are you saying please and thank you? Or whatever. I'm like, oh, weirdos. Okay. We're going to get into the next IP. Because we're only going to do four. We're gonna try to keep this one relatively short, okay? I'm gonna try to take the ring bling down a notch, I promise. It's because I'm tired. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Oh yeah, 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 oh Okay, it's it's an adorable show. It's basically the character from the Jungle Book. It's Baloo, King Louie. Um, it's so cute. And then the little fox kid is Kit Cloud, Cl Kit Cloud Kicker. It's so adorable. Um, Don Carnage, like the villain. Again, this is a great color palette. It's Jungle Book. Oh, Shere Khan is like a, a cutthroat businessman. It's really cute. I think they, I don't know if this is the volume three. Um, so I have all, th I don't know if they released all of it, but I'm still waiting for them to release all of Gar the last season of Gargoyles, which I am salty as hell about. Release it, release it unto me. I, I, did, I used to have videos called release them unto me. The unreleased like series or seasons of TV shows. Um, Sweet Valley High is one of them. That is such a nostalgic, but cheesy 90s show, but it's so nostalgic for me. The theme song always gets me. <laughs> but anywho, like Tailspin, like let's just pull out one of the discs from volume one. Oop. Really? You're not going to act right. So here we go. Look at the colors just from the back and the front. That is, if you could not pull a color palette out of that, I don't know who couldn't. Um, like these are super beautiful. Like the plain yellow, red, rusty red. Blue is gray, brown, with a blue and yellow cap and a yellow beige shirt. Kick cloud kicker. He's a fox. Some type of yeah. He's a fox, right? He's a fox. Some type of little fox or baby bear or something. Some sort of a little 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 mammal. And he wears this cute little green sweater, blue hat. You could come up with an adorable color story. Or some merch that would be so cute. Just saying. Tailspin. Get on it, somebody. Collab with them. Not like Bessame where it's going to be like $90 for one thing. Uh, make it affordable but profitable. <laughs> like, oh, the capitalist society. Um, I would love that. Thank you. All right, let's get down to the third IP that uh, I wish that 
a brand or brands we collaborate with. Now, this is kind of a show that was not super well known. This came out, I think, 92, 93. Mommy's alive, mommy's alive. If you love Rugrats, you will hear the voice of Susie Carmichael, Cree Summers. She voices one of the... She voices, which one is it? This one right here. She voices that mummy. Mummy's alive. Who doesn't love Egyptian mythology? Okay. It's very popular. Um, it is rich. It is full of so many untold stories. Look, Cleopatra is being, is literally, is beat to, no, oh gosh, I don't want to say beat to death. Um, but it's just so... Like, I've seen the two films. Uh, my favorite old Hollywood one is with Claudette Colbert. Um, she has that beautiful, dark, exotic look. The dark hair. Also, maybe because of the black and white. With Cecil B. DeMille, with, it's a black and white film. Um, it was just opulent and a spectacle to see the gorgeous, late, great Elizabeth Taylor in that. Uh, the one from the 60s. And then I think they just recently released one in Netflix and people are up in arms about it. Um... As somebody who is Nigerian, uh, has a whole daddy from that actual continent, that large continent, um, I, I don't, I don't care, but historical accuracy, um, Cleopatra was one of the last rulers of the family were like, Mace like, not Macedonian, but they were Greek, um, Mediterranean, I'm gonna say with Mediterranean more than the Greek, um, doesn't mean I didn't enjoy dressing up as Cleopatra for Halloween, but let's focus on more like the Nefertiti and not Hecate, but uh, Hathor and other like actual like Nefertiri and other actual rulers and also the mythology. Like this is cute. Okay, let's just say uh, there was a Zesi or Zesi did a British museum, which I don't know why it's the British museum, and they actually belong to. Africa and other countries. Uh, God save the oh, I say God save the queen. God save the king. Um, I'm I'm not a British subject. Nigeria won its independence in the 1960s, so my father is no longer a British subject. He's he's got a green card for America, and uh, he's a citizen, obviously, and a subject of Nigeria. Uh, but anywho, it's this was a cute show from the early mid 90s. I remember this just being a very little girl watching this and it stuck and as I got an adult sometimes I literally my brain is they oh gosh. I don't know I have a really good recall and a freakish memory so a lot of things I can just automatically just bring up to the forefront and think about it and that's why I've been singing songs that I haven't heard since I was nearly a toddler anywho it's watching this show my sister was in her like late teens maybe 20 and she was watching me and I she turned on TV and this popped on and I remember this and the theme song eh, not that super catchy but it's cute there is great mythology it's a little dark honestly um it is so cute it's it's like it says the beginning mommy's life four well-preserved ancient Egyptians wake up in the new millennium or on a new continent in a large city full of strange people Americans exclamation point not wrong <laughs> the job is the same they must protect Presley the boy prince from the villainous sorcerer Scarab who needs the child to rule this ungrateful planet okay also let's 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 same thing in the animated um my the, like from the mummies movie the animated series the mummies what is it with them making scarabs the villain scarabs are beautiful i have a pair of earrings on my my jewelry dish and they're they're scarabs scarabs are, it's a dung beetle maybe they're just full of it they're just sick of everybody shit and i was like it's a dung beetle <laughs> so <laughs> it's a beautiful jeweled beetle uh Heather Austin's collab with um, Unearthly has beetles. It's about beetles. Um, Resurgence palette it has beetles all over it. I was trying to grab it, but it's it's literally further away from me than I can get to. 
Uh, but anyways, it's, this would be a great, look at the, the richness, the blue, the silver, the, you could do the neutral because of the sand, the gold from the, not the I'm not gonna call, I'm gonna call it a death mask. It probably has a real legit name in Egyptology, but I don't know it right now. Um, the, the antagonist, look how pretty in blue, the shades of different blues and the shades of the blue of the the mummies the hat the sorcerers like there's actually four good mummies the other one he is not on here he's like big like a tank um and he has like a he's missing an arm it is adorable okay the show i think was out from early to mid i think early 90s to mid 90s maybe like maybe two three seasons but this was the only thing i could get which was basically the beginning it's like the first four four or five episodes of the series and i don't regret it okay i'm trying to keep this under 20 minutes okay also the last video because this was three so the last one obviously i said three are disney one is non-disney so here's a non-disney and here's the last Disney collab. And we live again. Da, da. We are gargoyles. Okay, look, let me tell you something. This show scared the bejeebies out of me when I was a child, okay? I was a little girl. Scared the bejeebies out of me. Like, especially when they're coming alive and they're, they've moved... Xanatos Zan moves Castle Wyvern to New York and puts it atop his skyscraper and breaks the spell and Goliath and his his rook and his clan um not the bad way not the bad kind of clan Wu Tang Wu Tang is forever um wake up and here's the first season here's the second season volume one it took years for second season volume two to come out which breaks my heart and I'm really waiting for the last two seasons to be freaking released Disney get on it you keep making crap old movies just really get give us Gen Y children who reminisce about their childhood okay also the stories are great okay this will make a great like IP the colors are beautiful Goliath Elisa Maza and then Lexington, Bronx, like they're all named after uh, the five boroughs, except Goliath, Hudson. They're all named after the borough, five boroughs of New York, like New York. So yeah, Brooklyn, Bronx, Hudson, Lexington. Those are all the, and Goliath is the big one, obviously like Goliath the giant, because he's huge. Um, Demona, she's beautiful. She's a beautiful color, Macbeth. Okay, we're just gonna talk real quick on just how epic and adult, um, when I say adult, I mean intellectual, these were, this cartoon was. And this would make a phenomenal IP. I don't want a live action film because they'd ruin it. They'd ruin it. Okay, Elisa Maza is a detective. She's half Nigerian, half indigenous native. Her father, Peter Maza, is native. Her mother is an African. And the actress, Sally Richardson, I think it's Sally Richardson, that voices her was just like her character. Half black, half native, or Hispanic. Do you know how cool that is to see a character? And then they have Nigerian, like a Nazi, like Nigerian mythology in there. Shakespearean, uh, Macbeth, um, the Weird Sisters, Titania, Oberon puck like this is a great series as a child it's scary because they they you know when they they're no longer stone gargoyles they're becoming alive flesh uh, and the the eye thing and the and the dark theme music scared me i love the voice of david keith if you don't know who that is if you know uh, the princess and the frog he voices dr facilier he played the, the bad guy in the film um, are you ready? That's, he's Goliath. He's the voice of Goliath. Somebody please make IP. 
with gargoyles. Also, please release the rest of the seasons. Release one whole complete series because I'll buy it. I'll still keep these as nostalgia, but I want the whole thing as a bundle. People love bundles, okay? We love bundle deals. Seriously. We used to clean our entire series together. Get your shit together. This is so good. Thank you for listening to my rants for like the last seven hours, I swear. This, it would make a phenomenal IP. I really, really, really wish they would really make this into a beautiful like merch t-shirts and jackets and keychains and lanyards also makeup make the makeup palette and especially in the fall winter time oh baby this would be beautiful i don't do makeup based on seasons but halloween this as an assamarine i've been saying it correct or incorrect when i was all Hallows Eve. We're gonna call All Hallows Eve, okay? Based off that beautiful most salmon, salmon, salmon. Forgive me. I will put down below, either in the drop-in box or pinned comment, the phonetic and the proper way to say that beautiful holiday that is based off, like the beautiful, scary but beautiful um, thing that is based off. But All Hallows Eve release this would be phenomenal uh even the times of like shakespeare festivals this would be great too just saying they need to release this in a freaking full complete series and also ip makeup merch the works i want to try and do another one of these um <laughs> Hopefully, mostly non-Disney, but I have a lot of Disney shirts. Um, we'll figure something out, right? Yeah, yeah. So, let me put these away, and we'll conclude the video. Alright, thank you so much for sticking with me. I appreciate it. Please, peace easy. Thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Take care of yourself. Take care of one another. Wash your hands, wash your ass. And please let somebody know that you're thinking about them. Let them know. Please, life is too short. It would behoove you to make smart choices, okay? I will see you in the next video. You have a wonderful day, night, afternoon, whatever. I will see you next time. Bye!